Welcome to Ambassadors Worship Center. I am Minister Kristen Ware. Um, and just before we begin, I just wanted us to to take a time, take time out to worship the Lord. And um, in this pandemic, a lot of us need to understand who the source is. And Christ is the source of our strength. He's the source of our joy. He's the source of, of our life. And I just wanted to sing this worship song so you can join in with me and um, worship. And just this is your Savior, it's your Lord. Who he is, he is creator um, and the creator of all things. And we worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Total praise. Thank you, Lord God. And this song is just total praise. Thank you, Lord God. He inhabits the praises of his people. Thank you, Jesus.
you oh God we thank you oh God we thank you we thank you oh God we thank you we praise you now in the name of Jesus we give you the praise we give you the glory oh God for you alone are worthy hallelujah how many of you know that he is worthy to be praised he's worthy to be honored he's worthy to be adored hallelujah thank you Jesus Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for going to worship with me, oh God. We just thank God. We'll go to him in prayer before we begin our study. Hallelujah, God. We give you the honor on tonight. We thank you for who you are, God. We thank you that you are the Christ, Yahweh, Yahshua. We thank you for being in control in the midst of a pandemic. We thank you for being control in the time of trouble. We know that we can go to you, God. We know that we are safe in your arms. Your word says the righteous run in it and are safe because you are a high tower, a strong tower. Thank you and the righteous run in it and we are safe. We thank you that you are the source of our strength, God. We thank you that you are the strength of our life. We know that you are the only source, God, that we can go to and get full power and have full control. We thank you on tonight that you are con in control of our word. You ask that we ask that you would continue to strengthen us in the midst of this tonight and that you would take full control, God. Hide me behind the cross. Hallelujah. And we ask that you take all the glory and all the praise in the name of Jesus. We give you the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Our text tonight will be taken from Matthew 17 and 20. And if I would have a topic for our, our discussion on tonight, it would be faith it till you make it. Amen. And um, in the midst of this pandemic, I just I thought of faith. Faith is one thing that God is speaking on to us in this hour, I believe. A lot of uh, people are going through loss. Um, a lot of different things are going on in this pandemic. And one of the things that has been shaken and wavering is faith. Faith in the midst of something that you cannot see. Um, and, and one thing that God is talking to me about in my own walk is new levels of faith. I know in this um, earlier this year, we had our daughter, our miracle baby, Araya, and she's here with us now. She's she's in, in my audience. She's my audience, my view on tonight as well um, as the body of Christ. Um, but what has been the blessing in it is she was in NICU for three months. I had her at 25 weeks, and my faith was at a new place. I had never been in that place, and. There were times I questioned the Lord as to why is my daughter, our daughter, going through this suffering and why is uh, she chosen to go through. And that following weekend, that Mother's Day, was when I sung to her and she just began to lift her hands. And as she began to lift her hands, it had me at a place of why am I worried? 
because this baby is 35 weeks old in the NICU, can't talk, can't do anything for herself. She was on uh, the in, in the incubator, and to just see her raising her hands, it let me know that, why am I worried? God had it all in control, and it was all in his plan. And so the Lord was speaking to me, at, this is a new place of faith for you. You've never been here before, but will you trust me? I got everything work, worked out. Baby's fine. She's a worshiper. She's doing what she's created to do. So why are you worried? Faith it until you make it. So the text that we will be coming from will be Matthew 17 and 20. Amen. Matthew 17 and 20. And Jesus is um, talking to the disciples, and this is the transfiguration of Jesus. He was transfigured, being transfigured in the midst of the disciples as they were on the mountain. The mountain that we speak of was unknown at that time. Amen. Uh, chapter 17 of Matthew. And I believe I'll begin at the seventh verse. And Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise and be not afraid. And when they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man save Jesus only. And as they came down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. And his disciples asked him, saying, Why then say the scribes that Elias must come first? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Elias truly shall first come and restore all things. But I say unto you that Elias is come already, and they knew him not, but have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. Verse 13, Then the disciples understood that he spake unto them of John the Baptist. And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and sore vexed. For oft times he falleth into the fire, and oft into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure them him. Verse 17, then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer with you? Bring him to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say, say unto this mountain, Remove, hence to yonder place, and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Hallelujah. And as we continue on, before we continue, I just wanted to look there, stop there, that our Father who is in heaven, he has all power. Knowing that we are his disciples, and as he's speaking to the disciples here, he's saying, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if you have faith as the grain of a mustard seed, it doesn't take a whole lot of faith but just the size of a mustard seed. If I had a mustard seed, I would just show you. It's just just this this much, a smidge. <laughs> um, and it just, as comparison to what we see every day, faith is something that we cannot see, but we have to believe, amen? And so the disciples didn't understand that they couldn't cast out this demon out of the boy, but Christ did, and there's times where in our faith we can't or don't see the power that we have because of the thing that's in front of us, the giants that are in front of us, the ob adversary that's in front of us, the obstacles that are in front of us. Uh, sometimes we can't see that, so we don't even look or tap into the power that God has given us. But I just stop by to remind you today to tap into that faith. Faith it until you go to where you need to go, the next level in your faith. Trust that God has all power and that same power as his disciples, you have the same power. Hallelujah. Because of your unbelief, he said to them, 
For verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to your place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. This is verse 20. Now we look at verse 21. How be it this kind goes out, not out by prayer, only by prayer and fasting. Three things I wanted to touch on, and I won't be before you long. Just wanted to get this word in. There are three things that will give us the key ingredients to our faith. To keep our faith aligned, we must pray. Hallelujah. We must fast. And not only that, we must believe. We have to be believers. Hallelujah. Not only that. We have to know who we are believing in. He is our king. He's our savior. He's our Lord. He's everything that we need him to be. But in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of our trials, in the midst of our tribulations, it's hard to see. It's hard to grasp. And sometimes we lose sight and we forget who he is. Hallelujah. He's the king of glory. He's the Lord who's strong and mighty. He's the Lord that's mighty in battle. And so I charge you all today, whoever is reading, whatever stream, we welcome you to Ambassador's Worship Center. We ask that you would just continue to stream to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding, hallelujah. And he'll give you the direction. He'll give you everything that you need. But here we are talking about faith. There are new levels of faith. Each Christian should be at a place in God of faith, whether it's a place of um, slow. Everyone has their own pace. Everyone has their own level of faith. If you are growing, there must be a place that you are in your faith. Hallelujah. Just like babies take their first steps, they're not looking to see who's catching them. A lot of times when babies are are walking, they're just walking without knowing they're walking until when the parents get all excited and say, oh, my baby. But it takes that type of faith to just walk out knowing that God has everything under control. He has our next step. Hallelujah. And if we take that same leap of faith knowing that we won't fall, and that he will catch us. He's able to keep us, hallelujah, from falling. You will see that usually the babies, they don't notice, as I said, that they're walking. We need to have that assured faith that we can walk without thinking about our next step, hallelujah. Not only does faith grow us, but it gives us access to open doors, hallelujah, as we walk in and as Christians, and no matter what level you are in your faith, Know that you need to get to the next step, hallelujah, to increased faith, to a level of faith that Jesus had when he healed Elias, hallelujah, when he he took that, that he rebuked the demon, hallelujah. It didn't say he did a whole bunch of laying on of hands and all kind of things that we see today, which I do still believe that God will give us power. He has given us power to heal, but that's just that faith that he had to call out that demon, hallelujah. He said, Jesus rebuked the devil and he departed out of him. And the child was cured cured from that very hour. All it takes is our mouth and to speak that thing and it be removed. That's the type of faith that I want in this season, hallelujah. That if I speak a thing, if I speak to the mountain, that mountain be removed. If I speak to my obstacle, that obstacle be removed. If I speak that my daughter is healed, she's coming out, she's healed, hallelujah. And as we look now, faith is the substance of things, hallelujah, hope for. Hebrews 11 and 1, the evidence of things not seen. It's what we believe, hallelujah, that will give us the things that we cannot see. I'm going to say that again. It's what we believe that will give us the things that we cannot see. It is what we know, not what we think. We can't have the type of faith that I think I'm going to make it out of this. I think that God is going to bring me out of COVID. I think I will be able to live, breathe. I think the next meal will come. We have to know that we are Christ child, we're Christ temple, and we have to be certain of the things that he's called, the certain of the things that he has already uh, done for us. Hallelujah. All it takes is that faith of a mustard seed. Hallelujah. And as we look, Jesus said to the disciples, because of your unbelief, 
I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, remove, and it shall be removed, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Jesus was telling them that they have the same power to cast out devils. They have that same power to just speak to it and it be moved. Hallelujah. But they must. They must didn't believe because he said, how long do I have to be with you? How long will I continue to suffer you? Hallelujah. And sometimes our parents can get a little impatient with us as we are growing up as kids and we grow into teenagers. Hallelujah. There's levels. There's levels to our growth. And as we're growing, sometimes our parents can question how long I'm going to have to hold your hand until I let go and you understand that you can walk alone or that you can grow or go to school alone. Right now, this pandemic has us in all types of areas in our faith. Some kids are going to school physically. Some kids are at home and they're going virtually and the parents have a different place to, to, to be the parent and also the teacher. Hallelujah. And to make sure that the child is getting everything that they need. But I can only imagine how the parents feel transitioning. Hallelujah. And as we look at Jesus transfiguring into this light, I can only imagine how the, the children are looking at their parents in transfiguration. Oh, that's my mom. That's not my teacher. And then just to see the transition of it all take place. It has to it takes some faith to understand and believe that I can be a parent and also a teacher. Hallelujah at the same time. So we must have the faith that we can walk on water like Peter. Hallelujah. Even Jesus was there, but we have to understand that we may not always see Christ. He may not always be in view, but because he's sovereign, he's at the same place at the same time. Amen. And we can walk on the water as he did. We just have to have that faith and that assurance, hallelujah, that even in this COVID-19, a lot of our family members have been suffering with it. Um, some people that we know that are connected to us have even died from it. Um, even in the midst of that, we've had services funerals that we can't even bury our loved one the same where we um, would usually bury our loved ones, can't go to the funerals, hallelujah, but we can still know that God is still in control, um, and I believe that God is taking us in another to another place in him. We just have to trust him, amen? We just have to believe that mountain or whatever the mountain represents in your life, that he will take us higher. Let's look back to the three key things, elements of faith that we'll need to get through. Prayer is one of them. Hallelujah. Philippians 4 and 6 tell, tells us to be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Let your requests be made known. Hallelujah. We ought to also pray without ceasing. Amen. In this hour, Prayer is the key to unlocking the door in this pandemic. Prayer is the key to unlock that next level of faith in our lives, that we may not see the next paycheck, hallelujah, but we have to understand through prayer, hallelujah, that God will make a way. We should always remind God of his word, even when we are praying. Now, God, you said in your word, your word says you shall supply all of my need according to your riches in glory. You are not a man that you should lie. Sometimes we ought to remind God of his word, hold him accountable to his word, and also as us, much given, much required, remember to believe in what you're praying. Believe in what you're asking God for. Hallelujah. And fasting, hallelujah, is the second key to our faith. Hallelujah. That is the second thing that the word even says that, some of these things go out by praying and fasting. Hallelujah. Verse 21, how be it this kind goes not out, but by prayer and fasting. The type of faith that we're talking about is what the Lord is saying to us. How be it? He's saying to the disciples that this kind goes not out, but by prayer and fasting. And so we must understand that these times and these perilous days that we're in and the power 
that we have, in, even in racism, even in this dirty politics, hallelujah, even in this pandemic of not knowing what we are doing and not knowing what's going on and when this COVID-19 will be over. Even in the Bay Area, there are fires right now. Things are smoky. Things are hazy. Um, the, the mask that they are wearing, if it's not the N95 masks, they will not even work. But we still serve a sovereign God. And I understand and know that he is in control. So prayer, fasting, hallelujah, and not only those things will unlock and give us access to kingdom, but believing, hallelujah, we ought to believe in what we are praying for. We ought to believe in what we're fasting, hallelujah. Faith, prepare, faith without works is dead, amen. And all of those things that we have, prayer, fasting, and believing, will all cause us to absorb, hallelujah, like a sponge. A sponge absorbs whatever you put, water, and it soaks up that what we need. Hallelujah. So soak up your faith through prayer. Soak up your faith through fasting. Soak up, soak up your prayer life through believing. Hallelujah. Because I believe that in this hour, that is what God is calling us to do. We're in all levels of our faith. Hallelujah. And I believe this year I'm at a greater level of faith. What level of faith are you at? Hallelujah. The I rem, I'm reminded of Moses when Jesus told Moses, what's, he asked him, what is in your hand? And not that Moses wasn't willing, or not willing, I should say, not that Moses uh, didn't believe in himself, but he wasn't willing, hallelujah. He didn't believe that the children of Israel would believe him, but I believe it took him to a place of getting to that place. I need to be willing to believe Christ called him to this place. And even the word says he got angry. The Lord grew angry, not because Moses was inferior or felt inadequate, but he was angry because Moses wasn't willing. And so we must have the faith that God has the power to change. He has the power to take that sword that uh, even Moses had that, that he, turned, he turned it and changed it into a serpent. He said, what's in your hand? And when Moses looked at his hand, he was like, whoa, that's the faith that we should have that when we don't even understand that these things are bigger than us, uh, we go beyond what God has called us to. We go greater because he said, greater is he than, that is in me than he that is in the world. Faith grants us access to the kingdom. Faith unlocks doors that no man, hallelujah, can open or shut, hallelujah. And so here this day, this hour, I pray that we understand that our faith maybe in different places, but we should all go to a level of faith that grows us from one place to the next. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you tonight, today, wherever you are looking in this stream at Ambassadors Worship Center, that we are all believers of faith. Hallelujah. I'm also reminded of the testimony of my baby, our daughter. There were a lot of people that did not even believe until they seen the video of this little worshiper in NICU, in her incubator, worshiping, without me showing her, she's doing what God created her to do. And I had a lot of people just reaching out saying that there were believers, people that didn't even believe in God until they saw her video. That's some type of God that would cause a 35-week baby to reach the nations and to, to show them that this level of belief, this level of faith, can unlock lock the door to anything. And so I just wanted to stop by and remind you to take your level of faith to another place in God. Take your place, your faith to that place on that mountain. And you have that same power that God had to raise Elias and to rebuke the devil. Hallelujah. We have the same power to rebuke, rebuke the devourer. We have the same power hallelujah, to cast out devils, hallelujah. He also even said that he sent the disciples two by two, hallelujah, because that would give them more power over serpents, power over things, hallelujah. And that's why we must walk together in Christian love. We must walk uncircumspectly in the world and know who our God is, who our Savior and our Lord is. Once again, as I say, one um, faith grants us access to the kingdom. But the Lord also reminded me one of the hindrances that can cause great, great hindrance is our is fear. 
Hallelujah. Fear is what keeps us from believing. Hallelujah. Fear is what keeps us from getting access to the kingdom. And so I pray that even now through your fair prayer and through your fasting and through your believing that you would unlock the door of fear. Pray the fear prayer like perfect love cast out fear. Amen. So I pray that you know those three things, those key elements. Search your scriptures. Hallelujah. And know that prayer. Hallelujah. The only things that we can get through through to Christ and our faith to unlock those doors is prayer and fasting, hallelujah, and believing. There's nothing like saying one thing to someone and you don't even believe it. I'm reminded of the, you know, the key growing up sometimes people tell you certain things. Oh, you're so pretty. You're so beautiful. But if you don't believe that, Hallelujah. If you don't believe that you're beautiful, those are just words. And so until you have the belief, till you have that faith, hallelujah, until you know what you believe, it will unlock your faith. Hallelujah. It will unlock the level of faith that you need to get to. It, and once again, I'll just want to remind you and say again that faith grants us access to the kingdom. Faith unlocks the doors to the kingdom. Hallelujah. Matthew 6 and 33 says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Unlock those doors. Unlock those walls and and break those walls down of unbelief. Break those walls down of self low self-worth. Break those walls down that keep you from getting to the true and big level of faith that you need to be. Hallelujah. In this life, we must know that faith will unlock the door Faith will keep us access and accessible and available to God. Hallelujah. Faith that we cannot see. Hallelujah. But faith that we must believe. Hallelujah. And and believe us, believe you me, that in this day we are going to walk in a place where we have never been. And how many of you know that even last year should have been another place in God? Last year I was married, getting married and I was leaving everything that I knew But I had to access faith. I had to access through prayer. It was a lot of fasting. Okay, God, this is where you want me. And when I came to San Diego, the Lord unlocked so many doors, so many blessings, all because of faith. Stepping out to a place that you don't know. Stepping out of a place of unfamiliar. That's one thing that God is speaking in this hour. We must go out of those places of comfort. Hallelujah. We must step out of our comfort zones. And trust God that he's going to do everything that he said he's going to do. Believe God is going to access you through your faith, God. Believe God for that job. Believe God for that financial breakthrough that you need. Believe God that you're going to school and they're going to give you grants, loans, student loans, not even loans, grants that you don't have to pay back. Hallelujah. But it takes faith. Thank you, Jesus. It takes believing, it takes prayer, and it takes fasting to unlock these doors that God is calling us to. Amen. And in this pandemic, there are a lot of blessings that I have seen come to pass. Amen. And so just remember that it takes us prayer, fasting, and believing to unlock the doors to our faith. Hallelujah. For faith without works is dead. Whatever you are asking God for, you must believe it. Hallelujah. Whatever you believe in God for, you must believe it. You can't have faith without belief. You can't have faith without the unction of, I got to see, I can't see it, but I know that God is going to do it. I know, and I believe it. Hallelujah. And so I pray on this day that you are blessed and that you are encouraged and could take this word with you. There are levels of faith that we need to be hallelujah and whatever that place is whatever that um door that you need to unlock whether it's through fear hallelujah that know that love perfect loved it cast out fear hallelujah and know that your faith will be whole just like the woman with the issue of blood she didn't have to go she went through a lot as they thought she was unclean. They looked at her as filthy, but she didn't care about any of that. She just needed to get to the hem. She needed to get to the hem of God's garment, of Jesus' garment. And it took that faith to get through all the people that were looking at her as unclean. She didn't worry and wonder, but she just had to get to 
Jesus. Amen. And get to Jesus. To get to Jesus, sometimes we're going to have to go through some things. Sometimes we're going to have to go through people. Sometimes we're going to have to go through, like I said, levels, a level of faith we've never been to. Amen. Just like that woman with the issue. Hallelujah. Just know that faith is what is going to access access this kingdom. Amen. And in closure, we would like to, if you would like to sow into this ministry, it is posted on the screen above or below. Amen. And uh, we just pray that you are blessed through this word. And just remember that it takes faith. Hallelujah. In this season, in this hour, it takes faith that you cannot see, but you have to believe. Amen. It takes faith to unlock those doors. Hallelujah. Whatever those doors may be, whatever the generational curses that you need to unlock, hallelujah, through prayer and fasting, whatever it is, amen, we pray that you would take those faith, unlock those doors, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, as we look to the Lord. God, we thank you and we praise you. We thank you that you are Christ and Christ alone. We thank you that even in the midst of confusion and turmoil and all the things that are going on in the world, that you are our Christ. God, we thank you for a word of faith. We ask that you would just continue to rest those on those who need it, God, in this world and in this pandemic, Lord. We know that you are God all by yourself. We know that you can unlock those doors. But, Father, we know that you have to, we have to believe it, hallelujah, and to, in order to believe it, see it, hallelujah, and we thank you, we praise you, we give you the glory, we give you the honor, God, in Jesus' name, amen.